Hello everyone, Document Ninja here, and we are going to look at how to adjust approval limits in our DocuWare solution for invoice processing. So this one's going to be a pretty short video, but I think this will help make it pretty clear on how to adjust or even eliminate approval limits if we have maybe changed our minds on how we want our invoice approval to work. So here we are in our DocuWare system and again we're looking today at the pre-configured solution for invoice processing from DocuWare. Uh, but you may have a slightly different workflow. Uh, often the approvers and approver limits are set up the same way. So in this case, uh, one of the things that DocuWare did that I think was really smart is they wanted to make changing limits and changing approvers accessible to, uh, you know, to kind of a power user in the accounting department, um, not necessarily an admin user in the workflow itself. So to do this, we have this personnel file cabinet in DocuWare. So that's one thing if you're an accounting user and need to change uh, approval limits, you need to make sure you have access to this cabinet. Um, couple things, if you don't see it here, the first place to check would be to go next to your name and go to profile and settings and under searches, to make sure it's not grayed out like this. This would mean you have access to it, but you've hidden it. So in this case, make sure you your the little eyeball is not, not grayed out, that we can see it. If it is not here, then you will need to contact your administrator to give you access to that to that file cabinet. But as long as we have access, we just simply go into our personnel um, approval users or it might just say personnel standard depending on which version you're you're running but it's the green one in a pre-configured solution so find the green one should say something like IP personnel or personnel open up that cabinet don't type anything in the fields just click search and this will show you your entire list of approvers and I actually have all mine in here twice because I have examples of what we call requester approval and cost center approval. And those are just two methodologies that that pre-configured solution works. One is we assign to a person. The other is we assign to a cost center that is attached to a person. So uh, there's two, two ways of skinning the same cat. We're going to just focus on the requester just because it's a little a little simpler. But we can see here we have our, our list of users and we're going to take a look at, in this case, uh, let's look at Elizabeth Cash has a limit of $500. So if we click on that entry here and we want to change it, just a couple of things on you know, what everything means here. The, the keys that we're looking for that drive the workflow are first and foremost the DocuWare ID of that user. So this has to be the same as my DocuWare username. So it's generally you know, your first name, dot last name, maybe your whole email, but whatever your login for DocuWare is uh, should be in this, in this field here. The second important thing is the limit itself, right? Uh, this, this is above this limit, then that's telling the DocuWare workflow that it's going to need an additional approver. In this case, with Elizabeth Cash, over $500, the next key field we use is the manager field. So this is what, this will indicate who the next person in line is. So in this example, it would go to Elizabeth Cash. She has a $500 limit. So if it was $505, it would then go to Brian Ford. Brian Ford, in his main section here, has a $10,000 limit. If it's between 500 and 10,000, he can approve it and it's done. If it's over 10,000, then it goes to Fred Winner, his, his manager that's listed here. So that's, that's just kind of how this, this works so that you can have as, you know, kind of as many levels of approvals as you want. One thing I would suggest as a best practice is to do, to have one of your 
you know, accounting folks or an administrator, maybe your CFO, somebody with a super high limit if you are using limits, um, just in case, you know, if, if Elizabeth approves it and it happens to be an odd $25,000 invoice, if no one has that type of limit, uh, we're not able to get that workflow through. So you want to have someone uh, with, with that super high limit. And I'll show you how to add that in just a second. But first, I want to show you how to edit an existing user. And that's super simple. So we just highlight our line here for Elizabeth Cash by clicking it. Then we can simply right click and edit the index entries. And let's say we want to change her limit from 500 to 1500. We just change that limit field, click save, and we're all done. Now we can see she'll be able to approve anything up to 1500 without an additional approver. Let's say, for instance, we wanted to adjust all of our limits. Let's say, you know what, the multiple approver, we've decided we really don't need it. We want everyone to have we want it to be a single single level approver there's a couple ways we can actually do that in the workflow settings if we want i think the simplest way is i just pick all my users right click edit multiple index entries and i'm going to pick the limit field is what i want to change you know i can change everyone's to 10 million dollars or something i have the proper number of zeros or 1 million and I click edit and it will change all of them at once. Now any invoice under a million dollars only needs that one approver that it's assigned to. So pretty simple. This, this file cabinet or table drives, drives that workflow and it should be accessible to you know, most users in accounting. So that makes it a pretty easy fix. Last thing is what if we need to add an approver to that, to that table? That's a, a little bit different. Here I want to go to a document tray. It can be any document tray, doesn't matter which one. And if you notice here in my accounts payable tray, I've, I have a document highlighted. So my orange button here says store because it's saying, you know, do you want to store this document? If I click on any white space, any empty space in this file cabinet, I'm going to get this. This is going to change to say create data record. So in that case, what that means is create a record without storing a document. So in this case, I want to create a record in my personnel cabinet for a new requester, which is our kind of word for approver user. And here you see it's given me the information that I need. So if I say, okay, we want this to be got a little lag going on here. Either that or I can't just type. So this is going to be document ninja dw dot ninja. This is the key that has to be the exact docuer username. So it does help if I start typing and then it'll it'll help me out here. So I'm going to pick that. And this is going to be my what I'd call the accounting bailout user, right? So we want them to have a super high limit so that they can push any invoice through that they need to. Maybe it's the CFO, maybe it's kind of our power user or admin in accounting. And let's see who we're gonna pick for manager. And the substitute, by the way, I've had a lot of questions on that. That is if I pick in my profile and settings, if I say that I'm out of office in DocuWare, it will revert to, to my substitute. So we'll say or my substitute is DW admin. I'm going to go ahead and create that data record. So now if I looked in my same file cabinet, the personnel approver users, guess what? Now document ninja spelled wrong is is in there, but actually that doesn't matter. The only thing that really matters is this DocuWare ID. So now if there's an, an invoice that's you know a couple million bucks uh, and it needs to be pushed through as kind of the administrator, I can do that. And by the way, there's an audit trail that'll show that it was me and not somebody else that put it through. So I best practice have someone with a, a super high limit that can 
go ahead and push those through. Um, and editing all of your different limits in here is pretty easy if you know where to go. Well, thank you for joining us today. If uh, this content was valuable to you, please tap the thumbs up button for us and even subscribe to our channel. Uh, let us know in the comments if you have any more questions. Happy to answer them for you. And if there are other features, functionalities, questions that you have even not related to this uh, with DocuWare, with document management in general, shoot us a comment and we will try to respond to all of them. So thank you. Have a great day. And we'll keep trying to help you become your own document ninja.